Okay, I've removed the club head so I can make the adjustments to the loft and the lie. When you put it back together, be sure that the hash mark you see here and your loft and lie cogs all fit together and then the loft indicator on your club head lines up with everything else and fits into the cog. Everything should fit together nice and nice and fitted. Okay? Just like that. So when you get this, these cogs actually have loft and lie on each cog. Right now what we have is the stated loft and a neutral lie is the way this is set up right now. So if you spin these around, you see that there's a plus two on this top cog here and there's actually a plus one on the bottom cog. So it's actually a combination of the two when you're trying to adjust these. It's not, it's not that one cog is the loft and one cog is the lie. It's actually a combination of the two to get the desired effect. Okay? So let's say, for instance, my, my driver is a 9. Let's say I wanted to make my driver 11. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set my loft. So I want to find out, I want to go plus 2. So I'm going to spin the both of these around until I can figure out where the plus 2 is. Now oh, there's the plus 2. So the plus 2 is on the top cog. So if the plus 2 is on the top cog for loft, then my bottom cog is going to have to become my lie. So I'm going to decide on here, I'm going to look for the lie indicators and choose the lie I want. I can choose a draw lie. You see the S? Well the S is actually a loft indicator. I cannot put an S with a plus 2 because those are both loft and they don't fit together. So I'm going to keep spinning this one until I find a lie. And here, what I have is a neutral. So I've got a neutral lie, and I've got a plus two on the loft. And these fit together, so I can use those. And then I would put my club head back on. Now let's say, for instance, I wanted to choose a different loft. So what I want to do is I want to say, okay, I want to make it, instead of a 9, I want to make it an 8. So I'm looking for the minus 1. I'm going to spin these around until I find minus 1. On here somewhere is a minus 1. Oh, there's the minus 1 again. It's on the top. So if the minus 1 is on the top, then the bottom one will have to become my lie. And here I ended up with a draw. So if I actually wanted a draw for a lie and a minus one for a loft, those actually fit together because I can put I could put a lie with a loft. And that's generally the way you want to do this, is is to figure out what your loft is and then figure out what your lie is going to be. Sometimes it's the reverse. Let's say I wanted a plus one for my loft. So I have a nine, I want to make it a ten. Well, the plus one is on the bottom cog, so now I've chosen my loft. If my loft is on the bottom cog, then I must use the top cog to choose my lie. So I can go with a draw lie if I want, or I can turn this until I find a neutral lie, and they fit together like that. So I'm a plus one, so I turn my nine into a ten, and I'm going to go with a neutral lie. And since I've decided that's what I want to use for a while, I'm going to put my club head back on, and I'm going to make sure that my loft indicator on the club head lines up with the cogs and lines up with the hash mark. And then I'm going to screw that back together.